Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV, Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome on board. I'm Austin Okonakwan on the show tonight. I'll tell you what's going on in the Nigeria Professional Football League. We also have updates coming from the National Handball League Day 2 results we will give you on the show tonight. And of course, I'll tell you what's going on for Season 11 of the Channels International Kids Cup. We also have more results in the MPFL and of course, tomorrow's fixtures. Two more matches to be played, and we'll say uh, goodbye to this league. Remember, uh, it's an abridged season. Enugu Rangers, they have become the first team to qualify for the Super Six. Yes, they, uh, after a 1-0 win over Bendel Insurance today in Enugu, we're monitoring that one. And we'll continue our countdown to the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup and find out what the Super Falcons are doing at the Women's Waffle Cup right there in Cote d'Ivoire. A semi-final clash with Ghana should also get us talking on the show tonight. It's an average uh, version of the show on Wednesday night, but we'll try to make good use of it, telling you what's going on in our world of sports. So if you're ready, let's do this. Let me invite you to the program. You can talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channels TV that's come. It doesn't end there. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channels TV that's come, and on YouTube for us slash channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see right there. So much is going on in our world of sports. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, I'll tell you some of the, the states and the schools that have qualified for season 11 of the Channels International Kids Club. You should get us talking. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Enter into the world of grassroots football club. It's season 11 as Channels Television, in collaboration with Eco Football, brings you the biggest stage in youth football development in Nigeria. Catch the excitement as school teams do battle for the ultimate prize. Channels Kids Cup. Catch you then, young. That's right. Season 11 of the Channels International Kids Cup. We're ready to start catching them young once again. You know the story. Two teams have already qualified from Lagos State. And that, that's what the technical, the technical com committee can uh, guarantee for now. And of course, the three schools that will be coming out of um, the country. But let me just run through the schools that have won their different state finals because we are using the Channels International Kids Cup to promote football at the grassroots. In Lagos, it's the boys from African Church Primary School in Kola uh, that got the ticket from uh, the Agege Stadium. We monitored this one. We saw the best of grassroots football right here in Lagos. Sanfra Primary School, Ebu Temeta, they stopped the boys from Abino Omolulu to pick the ticket uh, that was available at Campus Square Mini Stadium. So those are the two schools in Lagos. In Ogun State, the boys from Ansaruddin Primary School, Ijebo, they we showed you their state finals. Uh, they won that one, and they didn't even wear boots, but they still play football. They, they expressed themselves, and we love it so much. Osho State, Holy Saviors Primary School, Modakeke. Yes, they are, they are ready. They have been calling. They, they want to come to Lagos. Just, just hold on, guys. We'll get back to you. Bruno, the same boys that came last year from Abogo Lagema Military Cantonment Primary School, all the way from Bill, they are ready also with a fresh team. They cannot wait for us to say, okay, start coming to Lagos. You have been cleared, but they have done all of the checks that are needed and they are ready to come to Lagos. Delta State, Nosiere Primary School, Agbo, they got that one, winning the Headmasters Cup. It was just 1 0. They needed to win it and they got uh, that one. Uh, the, in those states, it is Ehagwere Primary School, Benin City, that won their state finals. So you see, when I come here and I tell you football at the grassroots is a big deal, people don't understand. Schools are now taking this competition very serious and they have their state finals, and that's where we get schools. Uh, Bayelsa State, Model Primary School, Yenagua. 
Uh, they say they want to come to the Channels International Kids Cup. The technical committee, they are doing their background checks on all of these schools. And if they are comfortable from tomorrow, you will start hearing from them. So these are just schools that have qualified, no schools that have been approved to come to Lagos. Uh -huh. So I was saying, oh, Mr. Austin said that we should start coming to Lagos. Not yet. Just, just, just wait for that email or that text message or that phone call uh, from, um, from the Secretariat and then... Uh, that is your approval for you to come compete. River State, Banham Model Primary School, Port Harcourt. They won the competition that was put together in the state, and they are also ready to compete. Quara State, you know, Quara, they are the defending champions. But last year, when they won, it was the boys from LGEA Central Primary School, all the way from Kayama. You see, it changes. This time, it's a school from Ilori. At Detunji Nursery and Primary School, Ilori, they are coming to Lagos. Let's see if the technical committee will say, okay, they are defending champions. Let's bring them to Lagos and see if they can defend their title again. Nasarawa State, I love this competition. Tall Model School, Wamba, they want to come to Lagos. Kogi State, Kwaibo Primary School. Kwaibo, they made it to the finals, I think, three years ago. Uh, they, but they lost. They lost that final. They want to come back all the way from Ida in Kogi State. We, we would love to have them back in Lagos. Kaduna. She Kabubaka Gumi Model Primary School, Tundungwada. They were here. I think they were here last year and two years ago. Let's see if the technical committee will bring them back. Ekiti State, Holy Trinity Primary School at Doikiti. They are also ready. Ghana. Look at them. These guys are ready. They want to come to Lagos. Ghana, Togo, Benin Republic. Yes, this is 11 of the channel's International Kids Cup. And we've got the schools, we're talking to them. And the kids are, the only the question the kids are asking is, when are we going? All the other ones does not say, when are we going to Lagos? They want to come to Lagos uh, to play football with their friends. So we, we, we are ready. We cannot wait for season 11 of the channel's International Kids Cup. It will get us talking. You will love it. Walk with us, jump on this train, support a child that wants to go to school and play football so we're inviting you to be part of this grassroots football uh, development program uh, look it's a vision and we're going somewhere with this and just days ago when i spoke to ine abasi on on the show the fire in me was reignited in your bong says uh, in abasi i says we can play football and go to school that is very possible it's all about you staying focused to your dream and yes at what level can you dream and follow it through if not from this level primary school boys under the age of 13 we love it so much they play football they go to school we teach them life values and they're beginning to see that we are just after their future and, and i know I, I keep telling people so what's the, what's the long term objective I say it's in Namas. We're giving you a rare opportunity to have a peep into the future of Nigerian football. From May the 21st to the 27th, we'll be busy at the Agege Stadium. Uh, you come, come around here. Yeah, we invite you to be, to, to be part of this. Come around, come see these kids. If you cannot make it to Agege Stadium, put down May the 27th. That's when we play the finals. It's Children's Day. You can come out with your kids. Come celebrate Children's Day with, with these beautiful kids. Yeah, it's one for the future. You might not say it now, but give us 10 more years. Every child that is playing football and doing so well with football must have passed through the channels International Kids Cup. Yes, uh, we've got Super Eagles players prophesying that Super Eagles players will come out of this project. And we believe, and that's why we're telling everyone, uh, walk with us. We, we've got principles. Uh, this is a vision of Mr. John Mama, the visioner. After every competition, sit down and say, guys, this is where we're going to next. So, Games Master, don't tell one boy to come and lie so that you will win and put it in your CV. But then, you've put a big question mark on the future of the child. Because if we discover either the child or the school, we'll be disqualified. So what's the gain? You've wasted that child's time. You've wasted the school time preparing and how about our vision? What have you done to our vision? So you see, so it's not win at all costs. We have rules and regulations. Go to our website, channelstv.com. Click on Kids Cup. Take your time. If you wear glasses, put them on. Read our rules and regulations so that you understand what we're doing here. 
Yes, it's zero tolerance to age kids. We want to discover real talent so that, so that I can come on TV and say, I saw this boy, he played football at 10, and five years after he was playing for the national under-15 team, two years on that, he was in under-17, and if someone should question it, I say, okay, come, this is this guy. Uh, but, but if you don't do the right thing, even if you cheat the system, there's no gain. So please, uh, we're ready. For season 11 of the Channels International Kids Cup, May the 21st till the 27th, right here in Lagos. We've got the boys from Ghana, Togo, Benin Republic coming to town. Uh, the boys from Benin Republic, they gave us so much talk about football speaks one language. And when they score, everybody yells goal. Yeah. And we love at the level of bonding that we're seeing with these kids at this level. Let's get on with the show now. Give you updates. What happened uh, with the International Association of Athletics Federation? The AFN, that's the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, and the Ministry for Youth and Sports, May the 17th, 2017. Let me just give you a brief background of what happened. The international body was supposed to send a support grant for the worry relays to Nigeria. They want to support Nigeria, so they sent, they were supposed to send 15,000 US dollars. Somebody with fast fingers, erroneously, by mistake, I mean, we humans who can make mistakes now sent 150,000 instead of 15,000 US dollars. The money came to Nigeria. Officials of sports in Nigeria saw that money, took the money, the, F, the international body wrote, we made a mistake. We're supposed to send you 15,000 to support you. And to them, they're like, we're giving you this money. Ah, but we made a mistake. Can you send back $135,000? They said yes. No problem. Wrote letters. Oh, we're fine. We'll send you. We'll send you the money. No problem. We saw it. Okay. The international body kept quiet. Came to Asaba for the African Championships. Reminded us. Our ministry said, oh, we, we, we know. We will do something about it. You'll get your money soon. You'll get your money. You see? You see? You see what I just said about integrity? That this one want to teach these kids at very early stages in their life to, to have integrity, to be honest? They wrote another letter. Back and forth, back and forth, almost two years now. I said 17th of May 2017. This is 2019. The international body, they are asking for that money. They haven't received that money. So they wrote a letter to Nigeria yesterday. Say two weeks from now, if we don't get that money, we are going to sanction Nigeria. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. And we've been digging. We've been, we've been trying to get the Ministry of Sports to talk about it. The Athletics Federation of Nigeria. No, no, nobody will run forever. Somebody needs to talk to us because uh, it's not just the ministry and the association. The reputation of Nigeria is involved. So tomorrow on this show, I'm going to get an official of the AFL to hear that part. Also try and get an official of the Ministry for Youth and Sports. But the ministry is still silent. It's still silent about it, aren't it? No, we need to we need to know what's what's going on with athletics in this country and sports administration. Yeah, because we need those grants, we need those supports. So what if the body says, uh, we, 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 no financial integrity with Nigeria, we're not going to support them anymore. It's not good. So yeah, that, we need to, to say this. We'll say it again tomorrow. I'll talk about it again on Friday till there is a response from the Ministry of Youth and Sport and then we get this embarrassing situation out of our necks. Let's move on with the show now. Go to Anambra State where they've concluded the seventh edition of the Anambra Walk for Life and everyone, it was a big, big crowd. They came out uh, to do this for one objective, to stay healthy. And Anambra State has been consistent with this. Uh, the Anambra State Sports uh, Development Commission, uh, led by uh, Mr. Oli, they, do, they don't play with this with this walk for life. So you see them right there, they walk around. They used to do it in some local governments in previous editions, but this time they came to the capital and it's just to promote a healthy lifestyle. So a shout, you see kids right there, you see women, you see even some, some aged fellow. It, it's, it's not a competition to come and win money, or the, it's just to come and keep fit. So shout out to um, everyone, the participants that came out for this one. It's just to also tell you that you can also be fit. Look, look, at, look at the lady uh, dressed in, in yellow. You see, you can just take light walks. Yeah, light run if you want to run. You know, so it's really good. You can also do the same just to keep fit, walk around, and then create um, 
a sporting lifestyle. Let's go to Anambra State, get some talking points from the seventh edition of the Anambra Walk for Life. You can see people are feeling good, people are feeling better, everybody is fit, everybody is able. And we thank God for such a marvelous executive excellency governor Ubiano of Anambra State. From the first to the seventh edition, we have tried to impact the community. Something like showcasing and asking people to come out and take and, and participate in at least once a month exercise. What I'm thinking is that maybe the sports commission should also design another for the aged, for the elderly people. Uh, all the other editions will normally take it outside the major roads of uh, Oka. Like last month, we went to Ibarium. Ibarium was about 17 kilometers, and a lot of people walked it, but it was tough. So this time around, we brought it into the town and made it a little shorter. Like today is 8.5 kilometers, and that's why you could see this number of crowd. What he tells us is that we don't need to stretch it too much, you know, because we will call it work for life. That's right. Uh... It doesn't have to be 10, it doesn't have to be 20, it's just 8.5 kilometers. And don't stress yourself so much. For that little walk you do, go check yourself. You see, you drop some calories, cholesterol level will drop. Sports uh, indeed can, can elongate life if you, if you keep a healthy lifestyle. So shout out to Anambra State Sports Development Commission. Um, they do this every month and they get everyone involved. So just come out, say walk for life. And I think that's a, a really good one. Uh, coming from Anambra. Let's go to Abuja. Uh, the velodrome is busy with handball. Yesterday, we gave you results from uh, day one. So some pictures for you right there at the velodrome in, in Abuja. And that's why we keep saying that we need to get that stadium running again because the velodrome looks so good. If you go to, you go to Package B, you see some of those facilities actually still looking good, but we need to put them in good shape so we can host more international competition. It's the National Handball League. A day two result, Kata Stars are lost to the defenders, uh, 29 to 24. Kano Pillars defeated Koa Shooters, 29 to 21. Niger United defending champions, they showed their quality by beating Play 2 Vipers, 41 to 20. Uh, Borno Spiders defeated Sokoto Rima, 33 to 29. Day two results for the women. Play two Peacocks, the defending champions. They are the one the first edition. Defeated Defender Babes 27 to 20. While Owena Queens are uh, lost to Seasider Babes from Lagos 41 to 21. More action for you at the National Handball League. The three fixtures we see Sokoto Rima take on the champions. Ninja United, Choir Shooters. We go against Owena Queens. It's Prison Key Boys versus Plato Vipers. Cano Pillars will take on Bruno Spiders. Kata Stars will go against Safety Shooters, while D Defenders uh, will hope to consolidate on today's victory when they take on Emo, uh, when they take on Emo Graf, Graf, D Defenders, when they take on Lagos Seasiders. For the women, there are three fixtures. Seasider Babes uh, will take on Safety Babes. They know themselves so well. Let's see what will come out of that. Or when our Queens will go against Defender Babes, Desert Queens will play Plateau, Plateau Peacocks. Edo Dynamos. Uh, they showed real good quality in their first match against the defending champions, Plato Peacocks, uh, holding them to 21-21. Uh, let's see what they can do against Kada Queens. Abia Valiant will play Emo Grasshoppers. It's the National Handball League. We love it so much. We we'll keep monitoring it. But just in case you love handball and, and you want to follow it, this is the place to be. We don't just talk football here. We talk sports at every level. Uh, in Nigeria. So that's it. Picture uh, right there. Some of the matches played today at the Velodrome in at the Abuja National Stadium. You see it's looking good, well marked. And that's the best of handball. And the Federation, they, they believe that this is the only way to develop the sport. That we cannot keep saying we'll get ready and play handball only when we have competitions. Uh, there must be something structural. There must be something that will get everyone involved. And they said, look, we need to have a league. We were scared that it was going to be a one-off, but no, we're seeing the second edition of the National Handball League, and we love it so much. So all the best to the participating teams, and we hope that uh, the, the Federation will see positives out of this one that will make them consolidate on everything that they've been doing for the development of the sports. Let's talk football now. March the 20th of the Nigeria Professional Football League 
Enugu Rangers. They have emerged the first team to qualify for the MPFL Super 6 playoff uh, following a 1-0 win over Bendel Insurance in Enugu. Bendel Insurance, they need to start winning now. Let's see if they can avoid the drop. Two more matches to go. Ninja Tornadoes won. MFM, zero. Abia Warriors, after pulling off that big win against Heartland, they won 4-2 at Okigwe. Today, they defeated El Kanemi. Two goals to one. More fixtures. Match day 20 in the MPFL. Remo Stars will go against Aimba. Katsina United will play Sunshine Stars of Akure. Wiki Tories of Bauchi will play Quara United. Quara United also need to start winning. Rivers United will go against Lobby Stars. In Group B, Natural United will play Gombe United. Yobi Desert Stars will play Kano Pillars. FC Ifai Uba will go against Heartland. Go round, we play Plateau United, while Delta Force will take on Aqua United. Delta Force, they went to El Kanemi Warriors to pull a big, big win in the League 2 0 in Meiduguri. Uh, let's see what they can do against Aqua United uh, at the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba. Aqua United wins that one, then they will also qualify for the playoffs. That's how far we can go on this edition of Sports Tonight on Channels Television. But remember to keep talking to us. On Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports, particularly on the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup that has just 23 more days to go. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakwan. In everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now.